Hello, my name is Benjamin Hay. We're here in St. Germain, Laie, and we're doing an interview today, and this is FMT. I come from a small city in Michigan called Sinclair Shores. I've been playing hockey since 2011. I started at Sports Forum playing roller hockey. My first memory of hockey I remember very well. Um, my father will too. He gave me a Franklin hockey stick and his Louisville gloves. And <laughs> I didn't know how to shoot. He grabs the stick and takes a slap shot and breaks the first stick I ever had. And it broke my heart. I was thinking about this on the train ride here because I, I knew it would be a question to ask and mine vividly was Sports Forum. We had a Tours Regional Tournament there. I forget what year it was, 2016, 2017. I played for the Sports Forum Warriors and the Border Cats were also playing in that tournament. And there's a huge rivalry between the two of us. We played them in the round robin, and I knew all the kids on their team, and they knew me, but they didn't know who I had with me as well. And my cousin was a goalie on our team, and we beat them. And that statement of beating the Border Cats in our home building, the competition between Joe Dumars and Sports Forum was finally beaten, it seemed. To this day, I still remember everyone on that team and that was probably the proudest moment in my career. Now we're going to have a break. Now time for advertisements. Roller Dad News, made by the players for the players, covering roller hockey worldwide. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See you soon. Man, I'm gonna do my thing. Get up. crazy in the club when I'm in there, man. Get up. I ended up being in Garsh. Hayden Maxwell actually messaged me on Instagram. I played with his team in California, the Groove, in the summer. I was, you know, supposed to come out the year before for Epernay. And um, when he said that Luke was coming along, it was very easy to say yes because Luke is one of my favorite people. But preparing for that, I only had about a month to pack say goodbye to my mom and my dad and the rest of my family and that was really tough. It was really, I guess the word would be spontaneous because none of us knew what to expect. And to play in Garsh is nothing but an honor. Adapting myself to French life has been difficult. There's a part of me that loves to communicate with people and not being able to physically with the language and you know trying to piece the words together can be very frustrating especially for people that spoke, don't speak English as well. The first tournament I played actually was Narch. Nick Gizmondi was still doing the highlight videos and Great guy. He's an announcer for the Seattle Kraken right now, actually. They would post these highlight videos on YouTube, and I remember playing our first game and just going on YouTube right after and watching every video there was of Narch. The little clips of the medals being shown in the video, you know, something that you could work towards. It was just so cool, and the hard work that Darren puts into that tournament is just insane. I, I, I still don't know how he physically does it. I think the thing that I like the most is a skills competition. Just to watch. I could sit there and watch it all day. If John Seymour was, you know, shooting pucks for 10 hours, or, you know, Eton was shooting pucks for 10 hours, I could probably sit there and watch it the entire time. I had a slap shot which is very rare in roller hockey in America, actually. And I fell right after it. But I scored. And uh, they did a replay of it, and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. I, I showed people at school, I showed my teachers, and everyone was like, this tournament is awesome, where is it? You know, like, can we come and watch? And it seemed like ever since then, 
the highlights that were put on from Narch and everything, it seemed like there were more of like a crowd that would come and watch. Um, you know, because they knew the cool content that was coming out with the drones and everything. Um, you know, I, I've always been a big fan of Narch, for sure. You can see me on the Riviera dressed like a playboy. Uh, or you can I would highly advise American players to come and play over here in France. I, I really think, you know, it, it's a huge opportunity for a lot of people that isn't taken by most. Getting out of the comfort zone is huge in life. When I first came over to France, it was very, very tough at first to really adjust to everything because I've never seen anything like that, you know? I think the hockey was just what I needed because it got me out of my comfort zone of playing on big rinks and always taking everything back and resetting the plays and focusing on small corners and playing like a professional should. Um, and I think the opportunity that is given to most over here, even just to live in Paris, I mean, how many people could say that, you know? Um, I think Dell on the last interview said it perfect. How many people can go to Belgium for a day, you know? I think those things are being really overlooked and it's a chapter in my life that is still going on and I'll never forget. I wanna do a huge, huge shout out to FMT, all the work that they do over here in Europe. Um, Lionel himself, he's a beauty, and everything that he does is amazing. Always makes my day seeing a video from them. Roller Dad News, everything that they do to keep everyone involved in the game of roller hockey, and the updates and everything, I mean, that's huge. Uh, you know, the work that these guys do at all hours of the day, I mean, I can't say thank you enough. And Everyone else should say thank you enough. So, thank you guys. My final word is peace and love always. And please recycle. <laughs>